We are now in section six, the practice capability development. The exam syllabus includes understanding how the ITIL capability model can be used to develop the practice. In particular, explain how the capability criteria support the practice capability development. There will be capability criteria for each of the practice success factors. And these capability criteria occur at the various levels of capability from level two and then three, four, and five. So let's understand this much clearly. The capability levels, the practice success factors that we have seen earlier in the key concepts of uh, release management section, those cannot be developed overnight. The ITIL maturity model defines the following capability levels, which are applicable to all the management practices, not just release management only. So these levels are level one, two, three, four, and five. In fact, the real maturity begins only from level two because level one is defined as follows. The practice is not well organized. It is performed as initial or intuitive. It may occasionally or partially achieve its purpose through an incomplete set of activities. For the exam, you need to remember some of these keywords associated with each of these levels. Level two, this is where the maturity actually begins to occur wherein the practice systematically achieves its purpose through a basic set of activities that are supported by specialized resources. Then level three, the practice is well-defined and achieves its purpose in an organized way, using dedicated resources and relying on inputs from other practices that are integrated into a service management system. Level four, the practice achieves its purpose in a highly organized way and its performance is continually measured and assessed in the context of the service management system. Level five, the practice is continually improving organizational capabilities associated with its purpose. So if you summarize this, level one, no good organization of the practice performed as initial or intuitive, partially achieves the purpose of the practice in complete set of activities. Level two, systematic achievement of the purpose, basic activities are performed, specialized resources are in place. Level three, well-defined, organized practice, dedicated resources, integration of the other practices occur. Level four, highly organized, continual measurement, assessment, and reporting. Level five, this is improvements based on the measurement and reporting done at level five. So at level five, there is a lot more idea generation for improvement and the improvement is performed. Now, as mentioned earlier, there are capability criteria for each practice, which are associated with the various practice success factors uh, for the four dimensions on in each practice success factor. So as we have seen, every practice uh, is part of ITIL. There are 34 management practices in ITIL. These are management capabilities and practices are one of the five components of the service value system of ITIL. And uh, every practice has its own practice success factor. Together, these PSFs make the practice succeed. And uh, usually we have ranging between two to four practice success factors for every practice, including release management, we have in which we have two PSFs. And, uh, and then each of these PSFs have their own capability criteria. And these criteria are mapped at different levels, such as level two, three, four, and five. And again, uh, these criteria are also mapped not only to each level, but also to each of the four dimensions of service management, namely organizations and people, value streams and processes, information and technology, partners and suppliers. So let us see how that really looks like uh, in a moment. Now, a bit more on the practice capability levels, as I was explaining from the previous, uh, the picture that we had on the previous slide, the same has been texted on this slide. So you can read the same here. For every practice, the ITIL maturity model defines criteria for each capability level from two onwards until level five. These allow to assess the practice ability to fulfill its purpose and to contribute to the service value system of the organization. And as mentioned earlier, each criterion is mapped to one of the four dimensions and to the supported level as well. The higher the capability level, there is more and even better comprehensive realization of the practice. For example, automation occurs at level three or higher because 
Automation is only possible if the practice is well defined and organized. Now you need to be careful with this statement here. This is a general statement for all practices that automation occurs at level three or more, but individual practices might have automation at even a lower level, such as level two. In fact, in release management, we will see that in subsequent slides that automation has happened already at level two. And you need to differentiate between the capability criteria and uh, the, the overall, how the practice works at different levels. So here you will see uh, on the leftmost column, we have the practice success factor, which is establishing and maintaining effective approaches to the release of services and service components across the organization. The second column lists all the criteria and uh, the third column is the relevant dimension and the fourth last column is the capability level. So there is nothing defined at level two here. In fact, uh, it begins from level three. In level three, we see the dimensions of value stream and processes and organizations and people only. And wherein the approach to the release management is defined, discussed and agreed at the relevant level of the organization. And the responsibility for the approach to release management is clearly defined and the competencies required for performing the release management are identified and skilled human resources are available. At level four, the release management approach is integrated with other standards and approaches adopted by the organization. A little bit more for the same PSFs in the upper half of this table. Uh, at level four, we also have the effectiveness of the release management approach is measured and reported. And at level five, the approach is regularly reviewed and continually improved. So if you notice, the, the wordings are very similar um, as we noted in the general definitions of the five levels when compared to this table. So therefore, uh, for, the, for the first PFF, the practice success factor related to the effective approaches, uh, we did not see any criterion at level two. At level three, uh, the responsibilities of the practice are clear. The approaches are also in place. The practice competencies are also in place. And at level four, it is the usual one where we have the integration with other standards and approaches and uh, integration uh, happens at level four. And uh, at level uh, four, there is also measurement and reporting. And at level five, there is improvement. Now let's move on to the next PSF, which is ensuring an effective release of services and service components in the context of the organization's value streams and service relationships. We have one item at level two, which is New services, change services, and service components are successfully released into the live environments. At level three, we have the following. The releases are automated, where reasonably possible. And this is in line with uh, what we saw earlier on that slide. In general, in all practices, automation occurs at level three. So from a PSF perspective, for this PSF only, they ensuring the effective release of services, we see that automation is happening at level three. And the release information is tracked and managed in an integrated information system. So we know that integration occurs at level three. And as we move on for the same PSF, still we have some more items at level three, the criteria that is, and the following the releases include the required competencies and human resources where relevant. And they include the dependencies and relationships with third parties. They also include the required workflows and procedures and the required technologies and information flows and they're also effectively integrated into the uh, organization's value stream. Now, this one, the integration is at level four, not level three. And there's one more entry at level four, which is the effectiveness of the releases is measured and reported. And then the last entry for the same PSF is that the effectiveness is regularly reviewed and continually improved for the practice. And that is at level five. So what we have seen is uh, for this second PSF, the releases uh, are successful. And uh, at level two already, and at level three, there is automation and there is tracking using integrated information system. There are workflows and procedures in place. Uh, there are third party dependencies uh, are resolved and the release competencies are in place and technology and information flows are also happening. Then um, at level four and five, those are the usual ones. Level four is about measurement and reporting and level five is about improvement. So in summary, for the first PSF uh, regarding the approach, there are no criteria at level two. Then we have at um, level three, the responsibilities, the approach, the competencies are in place, 
And at level four, we have integration with other standards and approaches apart from measurement and reporting. And level five is output improvement. And for the second PSF regarding the release uh, life cycle, uh, at level two, there are successful releases. And uh, at level three, there is automation, tracking using in, in integrated information system, workflows and procedures, third-party dependencies are done, release competencies in place, technology and information flows are in place. Level four, the usual ones, that is measurement and reporting, and uh, level five, improvement. In the exam, there could be one question about uh, certain criteria at a certain level. So you would have to identify which level that criteria is occurring in case you get that question.